been sent some new papers to try. <laughs> Well, hello and welcome to this photo speed video with me, Tim Jones. Harley Muller have sent me their four new papers to actually do some prints on and have a look at and see what they actually print like. I imagine because they're from Harley Muller, they're going to be pretty good, to be honest. Let's level with you before we start this video. They're quite nice, just a little bit. So before though, I dive into actually explaining what they are and what, why they are quite nice. Don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed YouTube channel. We release new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And also don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed newsletter on photospeed.com to keep up to all the news from us here at Photospeed, as well as occasionally some exclusive discounts in there as well on lovely Photospeed papers, but also all the papers we distribute like the Harlem Miller papers as well. Okay, so without further ado, that's the housekeeping out of the way. Let's dive into these quite nice papers from Harlemula. Okay, so a little bit of tongue in cheek there, to be honest, they are very nice. And also addresses some issues that could possibly arise with printing as well. But I'll talk about that a little bit later on because they've introduced some more sustainable papers and eco-friendly papers, as well as some more staples. So. Let me start with a little bit of an elephant in the room, to be honest, because we have just released our amazing Photospeed Map Variety 310. If you haven't tried it yet, please. It's in the Photosmooth test pack. Beautiful paper. However, there is another option, and that is Harley Muller's own Map Variety. So this paper is 100% cotton. It also has Variety content in it as well. So you get those deep blacks and those punchy colours, a little bit like this print here, as you can see. Apologies, Harlem Muller only sent me a fours, so I'm a little bit stuck at the minute. I like to have nice big pictures when we're doing some reviews like this, but they sadly only sent me a fours. So the Variety content gives really nice punchy colors really deep silky blacks and for a matte paper that is quite important because it does hold the detail absolutely perfectly and this is down to the brighter being in the paper the brighter content in the paper in the coating so basically brighter is bromide sulfate and it was put into papers to help hold the contrast but also act as a little bit of a brightening agent so the Matt Variety papers, be it ours or Harlem Muller's paper, are OBA free, so there's no brightening agents in it apart from that Variety content. This paper is 308 GSM as well, so it falls into that true photo rag weight of paper as well. I've been quite impressed with it. It does colour and black and white really nicely. This picture here is from one of our ambassadors, Alex Hare, and it's held like the neon signs and things in there really nicely, and it's even picked up all the shadow detail and everything just around here and it's just held it perfectly this is one this is a picture from one of our ambassadors as well ross mckelvey and i printed this one because it's got loads of fur detail but also because it's a black and white as well that high white point of the brighter as well has held this beautifully we've got loads of detail going on as well it's held all the little fibers in the beard absolutely fantastically and that was my big takeaway from testing these matte Brighter papers than when I did a video on ours a few weeks ago was the amount of detail these papers hold. With matte papers sometimes it can just soften the image very slightly which could be great for kind of dreamlike scenes or some very kind of moody landscapes and things like that. Fog scenes perhaps very very nice but for portraits of things we wanted to hold some detail in there and it's picked up all the lovely lines, the fur, beautifully and that is really a trait of all matte brighter papers to be honest so again we have a kind of a landscape kind of dreamlike image to be honest but it works perfectly this picture was from a photo speed ambassador called jack lodge he takes wonderful amazing landscapes so again it's just worked it's just a lovely lovely paper and these two one from amy bateman on my left hand side here and one from Julian Baird here, both Photospeed ambassadors. Again, it's just worked perfectly, especially in the sheet with all the fur and bits down the bottom here. It's just really helped to pick out all those whites in there as well. And that's the brighter content working in the paper. I think I've just been generally impressed with the matte brighter papers. It's a fairly new thing that's kind of come on the scene. And 
Yeah, they've been, I've been quite impressed with them. I haven't really considered them before because Canson have had theirs out for a long time, to be honest. So I never really quite tested it as much as I probably should have. But with the advent of our own Matt Barita and also Harlem Bullers, I've been printing on them quite a lot. And actually, they're beautiful. This 100% cotton, they feel beautiful in your hand as well. So let's move on to something a little bit different, something with a bit of a shine and a bit of a gloss, which is the Bamboo Gloss Baraita. Okay, so in front of me here, I have the Bamboo Gloss Baraita. It reminds me very much, it's got this beautiful texture to it. It's 305 grams, 90% bamboo and 10% cotton. It has a natural white to it, so it's slightly yellow if you compare it to, say, this bright white baraita here. So it is a little bit warm. It reminds us very much of our legacy, actually. Um, but I probably shouldn't say that because I'm talking about Harlemula. Now, it has this beautiful texture. I think it's so unique, these textures Harlemula get. Just got this lovely kind of steppering texture to it. It looks beautiful. Reminds me of the Photo Rag Metallic, to be honest, in kind of its texture, but obviously we like that metallic kind of shine to it as well. And the gloss on it is beautiful. It's just, it just glints in the light, which is beautiful, but you don't get any harsh glare off it or anything like that. Pictures like this with lots of color and neons in work perfectly. This is really just, a beautiful paper to use for this image. Equally, like with the Jack Lodge landscape here as well, it just holds it really, really nicely. I think for this image, I would probably say, because we've got some nice graduated tones and things in here, I would say possibly, and you're happy to disagree with me here, that the texture is possibly a little bit too much for this type of image. I always say, that you should have a hierarchy with textured papers and it should be the image first and the paper second but the paper's there to enhance your image and if you can see the paper coming through or the texture like you can on this one it is just overtaking the image for me very slightly in this picture here so it suits a little bit more of kind of a, a little bit more of a busy scene perhaps like um, amy bateman's picture here the sheep but it's held all the detail perfectly here, very sharp paper. And because we've got that soft focus at the back here, this very shallow depth of field, it just works with that. It kind of works with the Vulcan to, to really emphasize that. So that works beautifully on it. Landscapes also work really well on it. Um, it's a little bit warm, I think, for this picture here because we've got a lot of warmth going on actually in the picture here. It will be nice to have a pure white with this, which we'll kind of move on to in a bit. But it has held the detail lovely and it's got a beautiful contrast actually on, on the rocks and things. It is, it's done a really, really nice job. I, I, I really didn't expect any of these papers to do a bad job. It's part of the natural line that Harlem Miller produce as well. More sustainable than other papers on the market because of the bamboo content in there. And it just has that little bit of cotton in there as well. But beautiful it i'm i'm really impressed with it for black and white it works very nicely but just remember it is a warm paper so it will give that slightly warmer tone to your pictures but remember it's got that brighter content in there so that will intensify things a little bit for you but i mean the blacks are beautiful on it that lovely silky brighter black on this beautiful gloss and texture as well it's held the detail beautifully. It's the one that's kind of stood out to me, to be honest, the bamboo. But yes, it's just me. I like the tactile feel of those, I suppose. So that is the bamboo gloss baraita from Harlem Ula. Let's have a look at another baraita paper, which is their Photo Silk Baraita X. Now, again, I think this is a little bit of a unique paper. It's got that silk nature. It's almost a little bit satiny, to be honest, as well. It feels great in your hand. It just feels a little bit different, but not a bad different, a really kind of nice difference. Again, brighter content in there, so it picks up all the detail. The whites look lovely. It's quite a high white point as well, which is quite nice. So when compared to the bamboo, this does have a higher white point for you. It will suit some subjects a little bit better, perhaps. I think for the sheep here, I definitely preferred the bamboo. However, that's just my opinion and it does look absolutely stunning. So when compared to the 
like a matte brighter. This just have a tiny little bit of shine to it, which is actually quite pleasing to the eye. Now it's 100% alpha cellulose paper, so it's a wood pulp paper. It's 310 GSM as the weight of the paper as well. So it is quite a stiff paper. They do classify it as a photo paper, which is quite nice. Um, so it does come in their photo test pack, but it's got that brighter content as well. Again, does color black and white perfectly. Again, Alex's picture here just looks stunning. The bright colors in it, it they just suit this style of paper especially brighter papers because the colors just pop off the page. And the black and whites look absolutely stunning as well. Those lovely deep blacks as well. So again, it, it's well worth a try and have a look at as well to see if this could be a really nice paper for you. So let's move on to the last paper. Now I've left this one to last because it's something of a little bit of a special paper and very unique to Harmonia as well. Now for a traditional kind of photo paper every day, like the Lustres Pearls, we're normally looking at kind of a resin back to those papers. So not very environmentally friendly. So what Harlem Miller have introduced is what they call a sustainable photo satin. So again, it has this very slight sheen to it, very much like the Photo Silk Brighter X. Not as heavy, so it's only 220 GSM, but again, prints beautifully. However, I would say it's not as punchy, to be honest. I think the Brighter content in this picture here on the Brighter X, it does have a little bit more punch when compared to the photo silk here. So the big selling point of this is the sustainability of this paper. So it's effectively a little bit more environmentally friendly. Now it does have a plastic free composite, Harlem will call it, as the backing, which I will show you in a second is quite unique when you try and rip it. It also has a bio coating on the paper as well. So no nasty things actually in the coating as well. It feels great in your hand because of that back. Um, if you hold a, like a luster or pearl or something, it does feel a little bit plasticky, but this almost feels a little bit fine art really because of this composite on the back. So it does feel a lot better in my hand when compared to like the lusters and pearls and things. Any of you watch your videos, I'm very tactile with papers and I kind of like that lovely feel. The glaze on it is beautiful as well. It's kind of in between that semi-gloss and matte type of glaze on it. It does black and whites really nicely, possibly the blacks are a little bit more like a matte black rather than that deep, silky, brighter black, black that we've been looking at, but not an issue at all. Again, holds detail, lovely, very nice for landscapes as well, or competition prints or something like that, really ideal for that. But also, it's that sustainability, and if that's important to you, then this is really a lovely photo paper to use. Now, I've just grabbed a sheet of this lovely paper, unprinted because I wanted to show you this back in a little bit more detail. If you've ever tried to tear a luster gloss, something like that, it makes it very, very hard and you can't really do it very well because it's got that resin kind of plastic feel to it. Now this paper will, it does tear very nicely. It's quite stiff though. Let me just tear one in half and you can see it's almost like a paper, this composite on the back. And there's the coating and bits. But it did make me think that this paper could be quite useful for bookmaking. And actually it does fold quite nicely as well. There's no nasty kind of edges or anything there. It's not double-sided at the minute. That's one thing um, I might be suggesting to Harlem Mueller. But most of you will probably not be tearing these sheets of paper in half. But I just wanted to show you that composite in a little bit more detail to be honest. So there we have it really. These four amazing papers from Harlemula. Like I said, we can produce custom profiles for all of these, which is a free service we offer if you buy through the Photospeed website or one of our resellers as well. A little bit of a crash course, should we say, and an insight into these lovely papers from Harlemula, but I'm impressed. As I, as I am normally with papers and things, they have really impressed me, especially this bamboo matte brighter. I, I won't go on about it because I've said en enough about it, I'm sure but it's beautiful paper, it feels great, it's got that lovely shine to it as well. That's the one that stands out for me. So on that note, I will finish. Don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed YouTube channel. We release new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And also don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter on photospeed.com. And on that note, I will see you next week.